Okay, we had a look at the simple interest bank loan. Now let's have a look at the compound interest bank loan using the same example of 6% and $100, but this time compounded monthly. How do we find what is the effective annual rate? Now let's have a look. If it's compounded monthly, we have to first figure out what is the monthly percentage or what is the monthly interest rate. In order to find the monthly interest rate, we take 6%, which is the annual quoted rate. Okay, remember, this is the annual quoted rate. Divide by 12 months. So this is the monthly interest rate. However, you have to remember that it's compounded monthly. So in the first month, what you're really getting is an interest um, multiplication here of the entire principal by 1 plus 6% divided by 12. Now in the second year, because it's compounding, you will multiply this by another round of 1 plus 6% divided by 12. Because remember, whatever you're, you're incurring in the first month is going to roll over to the second month. Okay, and then another round of interest will be applied to it. So if you do this over 12 months, and you keep doing this for 12 months, what you'll get is really, at the end of it here, is 1 plus 6% divided by 12 to the power of 12. Okay, so this is how many times it's going to be compounded by. It's going to be compounded by 12 times because it's 12 months in a year. It's compounded monthly. So how do you find the effective annual rate? In order to find the effective annual rate, you take this 1 plus 6% divided by 12 to the power of 12 minus 1. And that will give you the percentage. Now, if you look at this closely, you realize that this is the formula for calculating the effective annual rate of a compound interest loan, which is 1 plus the quoted annual rate divided by number of periods in a year to the power of number of periods in a year minus 1. And that's how the formula is derived.